Hey guys, my name is Spencer Kaufman. Thank you for tuning in to the Deception Tips videos. They're all about teaching you how to read people and detect deception so that you will know when someone is lying to you. Today we have a cool tip that I kind of previewed a couple times before, way back in number three and in number 12 with contradictory behaviors and simultaneous gestures. Today we are going to talk about symmetrical expressions. So when it comes to body language, deception, people talking, when the natural body is doing what it does best, which is just naturally happening, everything is occurring as it should, things are symmetrical, they are in unison, and they happen congruently on both sides of the body and the face. So when people are having contradictory behaviors, that is something that is to be suspicious. You can say, hey, wait a minute, this isn't matching up. It's contradictory. It contradicts itself, which could be a red flag for potential deception. In addition, when gestures are not simultaneous, as in they don't match up with speech and body language, then something may be happening there. Today with expressions, which is primarily facial expressions, they need to happen on both sides of the face symmetrically. If they are not symmetrical, then you know that something may be a little bit off. So here it is. This is deception tip number 14. Truthful facial expressions of emotion appear naturally and are symmetrical. Deceptive facial expressions appear at will and are asymmetrical. So truthful expressions appear naturally. When someone is surprised, the surprise overtakes their face. When they smile with a genuine smile, it's on both sides of the face. You see their cheeks go up, their eyes wrinkle, etc. It happens simultaneously, symmetrically. However, when they are being deceptive, they happen at will because they are fake. They are consciously thinking about doing them. Natural, truthful, emotional expressions happen out of emotion. It's unconscious. Oftentimes you can't help it. You can't hide it. If you're so excited, sometimes you just can't contain that excitement. However, deceptive expressions, they happen at will. People may force a smile on, or they may pretend to be polite, things like that. It's at will and it's asymmetrical. And the reason for this symmetricality and asymmetricality is because our brain has two hemispheres. So for simplification, I'm going to call it the left brain and the right brain. However, it's really the left cerebral hemisphere and the right cerebral hemisphere. But it's a left brain and a right brain. Now, they control opposite sides of the body, so they are contralaterally related. This means that the right brain controls the left side of the body and the left brain controls the right side of the body. They happen opposite. So when expressions come out on the face, truthful expressions typically happen on the right side of the face. False expressions typically come more on the left side of the face to have that false emotion. So the right brain is more active in false emotions. This is why when people smile, if you see a real genuine natural smile, you'll see their eyes wrinkle on both sides. However, when people kind of fake a smile, they may just smile a little bit, you'll notice that it's the right side that comes up and then the left side is the one that equals it out as a part of that false emotion. So they may consciously put it on one side of the face or the other. A lot of it, this isn't really set in stone, but it's a very good principle. A lot of it has to do as well with whether they are dominant in one side of the brain or the other. You've heard that saying, are you left-brained or right-brained? In addition, are you left-handed or right-handed? Whichever is dominant, that could also be the side that you portray that fake emotion on first and then the other side comes in to even it out to make it look more symmetrical. The deception starts to play a role. So like if I smile a little bit as a fake smile, you may see it on my right side, then my left side would come up to equal that out, indicating that the right brain was being deceptive to equal out that fake expression that was forced upon my face. Now this is true in all expressions. They should all be symmetrical, whether it's surprise, disgust, anything like that, happiness fear, etc., especially in deception, except contempt. Contempt is the only expression that is not symmetrical. It is one side of the face only. Keep in mind, these expressions happen really, really quickly, so you may not see them. It's, they happen in like less than a second. However, a typical smile, a real genuine smile, will probably be anywhere from two to four seconds from start to finish. Fake smiles are either generally really quick or they're a lot longer than that. They may stay on for five to eight seconds. So if someone is just continually smiling, like as in for a picture where they're just standing there and smiling like that, then you kind of know that that's not really real. But 
Even if you miss these genuine facial expressions, because they are so quick, many of them are less than a second, less than even a half of a second, you can always look for other signs because there will be other signs on the body that are a lot longer and that last and happen more frequently that you can see and pay attention to. If this is your first time watching these videos, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Feel free to comment on any of them with any questions you may have as well. In addition, we've got tons of information available on spencercoffman.com, books, podcasts, ebooks, blog posts, etc. So feel free to check them out. They're all dedicated to teaching you exactly what everybody is really saying. Until next time.